First, the very first batch of secret court documents related to the late Jeffrey Epstein have now been unsealed, and these documents stem from a 2015 lawsuit filed against Epstein's former girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, who was convicted in 2021 of sex trafficking girls for Epstein. Joining us now to break this all down, uh, the list that is and its impact is legal analyst Karen Conti. Karen, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, any big bombshells released from this, first of all? I don't see any big bombshells. A lot of this was already made public uh, in other forums, so I, I think there's nothing really here that we can grasp on. Um, the other thing is that, you know, just because people were associated with Epstein doesn't really mean they were involved in the wrongdoing. So none of the documents that have been released really go to that issue of who was the bad guy here. Yeah, and I think that that's an important point to bring across, so I'm glad that you said that first. But the list does include mentions of former President Clinton, Donald Trump. They're not accused of any wrongdoing. Uh, so why are they included in this list in the first place, and do you think that this will impact them in any way? Well, you have to look at the history here. Uh, Epstein was arrested and spent some time in jail back in 2005 uh, for uh, soliciting sex for a 14-year-old girl. He got out of prison after 13 months, and he decided he was going to rebuild his career and his reputation. So he, he rubbed elbows with all the important people, the Jeff Bezos of the world and the Clintons and all of these people. And he went on missionary trips. He donated money to Harvard, and he was trying to get his reputation back, probably uh, to protect himself and also perhaps to to um, lure young women, you know, into, into his midst. So he was doing all of that uh, and not necessarily, uh, these people were not necessarily having sex or doing anything wrong, but I think that he was just rubbing elbows with these people and that's what these records reflect. Okay, so you said at the top that just because names were mentioned does not mean that there was any wrongdoing involved. But who do you think was most damaged by these legal documents? Maybe Prince Andrew? Like we said, no bombshells here, but we have known about his association. There's been a lot with Prince Andrew. Would you say he's the one who's been hurt the most? Probably. Um, and But he's already been hurt because he was sued, as you know, and he settled the case. And this case was settled. Most people think when you pay money that you're guilty of something. There were obviously pictures of him, uh, and, and he claimed he didn't know anything about it. But my, my guess is that anybody associated with Epstein is going to be tainted. There are going to be people out there who think that Trump was doing something or that Clinton was doing right. something. Even Alan Dershowitz was brought into the, to the mix here. So, and, you know, when you rub elbows with somebody who is a bad guy, um, you know, you're always going to be a little bit tainted. Any more expected to come out from this, Karen, or is this it? There's going to be more. Uh, the judge said that there were some more. Um, the judge actually withheld some documents uh, that uh, related to certain minors who may have been victims of Epstein, and that's just a, a protocol. But I think we're going to see more documents, but my guess is there's not going to be any great, uh, you know, bombshell here. Okay, thank you. Legal analyst Karen Conti, we appreciate it. Take care.